Hello again. Uh, in Massive Dynamic, we had a lot of options and settings for header, so we decided to make a video for it. First is that you can uh, resize header elements in Massive Builder by using these handles here. We can drag and drop them around or change their size or change their alignment using these buttons. Okay, so if you click on the setting, you can get header layout, but there are other options for header. First is uh, header layout, then there's appearance, and so on. Uh, let's talk about header layout. First, you can change the position of header. It can be top, left, or right. I'm going to set it on left. Okay, that's my header. Now I'm going to put it back on top. Now we have another option here. It's called header width. You can change the overall width of the header. And we have also container width, which can change the width of the elements inside header. Now we have header height, obviously it changes the height of header, and we have uh, top space. Moving on, we have styles for header, which is blood, gather, and so on. Each style has unique type. For example, I'm going to choose dash or a slash for my classic style header. Next we have a header score behavior which has three options. First one is don't move. Let me duplicate some shortcuts here so I have more height and I can show you the difference. First one is don't move, header is not moving with me. Second is move. When I scroll down, it turns into a smaller version of the header. And finally we have appear after, which gives us an option to choose the distance which after that header will appear. It also has Two show up styles, fading and sliding. We can see that after the distance, I said it will appear. Now we have a navigation item style, which can be text, icon, and icon and text. It will uh, affect the navigation mostly, and also the mega menu. So if you want to show icons on mega menu, you have to choose icon here or icon and text. Next we have appearance. Here we have options for item color and background color. I'm going to choose this one. We have also item hover color and then we have a background type which can be solid or gradient. I'm going to change the background color here. Then we have logo style, which can be dark or light, based on my header background color. Finally, we have header border, which can be used for some header styles. Here we have secondary header. It only appears if I choose appear after or move option in header school behavior. Here you can uh, set the uh, 
attributes for secondary header which appears after we scroll down. Now for some header styles, we also have some more options. For example, if you choose gather here, you can see that if I click on this button, my navigation appears here. So what if I want to change the color of the pop-up? Here I can change the color of pop-up using item color and pop-up background color. Okay, great. Moving on, we have drop down and mega menu. Here I can choose background color, element color, and element hover color for my mega menu. Next, we have business bar. If I activate it, we can see that it appears on top of header. We can choose info style, which can be dot or icon or also choose text style or icon style for social icons here. Again, I'm going to put it on icon. Next, we have uh, element color and background color, which I can use to make a harmony between business bar and my header. Next, we have infos fields for adding the information. Next, we have typography, uh, which uh, determines the typography of header. Let me choose classical style so we can see the navigation. In typography, I can choose the font family. For example, I'm going to use this one. Since it's loading the fonts from Google Library, it will uh, refresh my page. We can see that the font is changed. Next, we have size and weight. Again, changing the weight will reload the page because it's calling for a new variation of the font. Going back, we have uh, responsive in the end, which uh, affects my header in responsive view. For example, here I'm going to set it on portrait tablet. I'm going to change the white background color to a dark background color. Again, I'm going to check it. You can see that the background color is set on dark. Hope this video was useful. Thank you for watching.